welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we are going to be working on the rock garden on Honeyland. Honeyland, as you know by now, probably is my forever island. This island is the island I'm going to keep forever and ever. So I did want a rock garden. I wanted all of the rocks here. So I went ahead and made a rock garden on stream I, is where I spawned the rocks in. It was like a four and a half hour ordeal in stream. You're more than welcome to go back and watch the VOD, but I will be making a shorter um, rock garden sort of tutorial for those of you who have asked for it. Hopefully that will help you avoid some of the mistakes that I made in the making of my personal rock garden. I did do a lot of things in the last few rock gardens that maybe were mistakes and I hope to show you guys how to not repeat those mistakes so that your experience is a lot smoother than mine was. You know what I mean? I just don't want you guys to struggle the way I did and mine was definitely a struggle here. So I wanted to do this outdoor bath because I toured this island by Sun Sun. It was a natural Japanese island and she inspired me. She did this um, bush rocks thing around an outdoor bath and I wanted to do it in a way that fit in on my island. If you're wondering what island I'm talking about, the island was by Sun Sun. Um, also known as Rain Song um, over on Instagram and I toured her island and it was a natural Japanese island and the um, title on it was red. I'll put a link to the video either up in the card or down in the description below up in the card if I remember what the timestamp is on this video right now. It's a struggle y'all. I know I'm not the best at those things but I am going to try to get better. I promise. I wanted to extend the terraforming out just a little bit because I didn't want it to be so straight right around that area and of course I need a cliff tree and if you've never done a cliff tree you just make this right angle and do the water little thingy right there and put the cliff on the edge of the tree like that like so and continue on i think i will make a little video for you guys for those of you who have asked and hopefully that will help you out with your own um cliff trees or your cliff over the edges of trees it really is a helpful tool to have in your arsenal of decorating i wanted to put a little mush um parasol right here and for some reason um i was struggling with getting my character to go in place this day i think actually no i know exactly why this was a problem in stream i built this on stream and it was um a reverse reverse was redeemed and so sometimes if my character looks a little just disjointed or like she doesn't know what she's doing that would be why we look a little bit crazy it's because somebody has redeemed something to make it harder for me to uh, decorate so thank you so much to the person who redeemed the reverse joy cons and if you'd like to cause a little bit of trolling and chaos feel free to join us in stream we have an amazing time there but i totally understand if streams aren't your jam and you just love the speed builds and the tutorials because i am happy to make those for you as well here we're um, just putting some trees and some nature around it i honestly just wanted this to be a little bit of a nature walkthrough we all know that i don't actually use the rocks for anything really um and I just wanted like a little natural pathway to go through, maybe a little place to sit. And after contemplating how I was going to put the path in, I decided to go ahead and just get on with it. Here we are using a combination of the wooden plank path and the little dirt path. And I did go back and forth. I don't know why it took me so long to place this path, but it really did. And then I decided to extend the cliff out just a little bit because again, I didn't want the, the path right next to the edge of the cliff. 
and I just felt like it looked better if I filled it out just a little bit. There are always adjustments to terraforming even when I pre-terraform something else. So please, just because um, you terraform your island or you have some terraforming going before you start a build, don't ever think that it can't be edited. Nothing is finite, nothing is like permanent and everything is absolutely fine if you decide to make changes. you ever had one of those days where no matter what you do you feel like your path isn't looking natural you're struggling with it just a little bit raymond has a thought bubble right behind you and you absolutely don't want him to leave um that was the kind of day that i was having on this day Sometimes doing these things with viewers really does force me to continue on a build that I might put down or step away from if I didn't um, do, if I didn't have like an entire group of people watching me build it. And I really do appreciate that actually because a lot of times I'm just not trusting the process. And when you guys build, remember to trust the process. It's not always pretty as you go along, but it doesn't need to be. It's totally valid to have um, just things not have an ugly phase, right? Sometimes our builds have an ugly phase, just like our artwork. And then it all turns out in the end. And in the end, this build really did turn out just fine. You'll see um, when it's finished, but for a minute, I did struggle. It, it The struggle was a little bit real right here. I do shoot down all of the presents. I open them up on stream, generally on Sundays, but if you ever want to um, hang out and watch, I think I might start doing some shorts where we're opening up presents just to open them. There's actually a story of why I I shoot them down and then leave them. It is a real thing for me and the reason is because generally speaking I'm a little disappointed with a lot of the things that I get from balloon presents and so it makes me feel a little better when I open like 30 or 40 of them because when I have that many I'm likely to get at least one good item. So Somebody redeemed in the chat that I had to open the item that was gifted in the balloon. I had to open one of the balloon presents because that is a redemption on the channel. And here we are opening a balloon present and now I am wearing some blue sunglasses because they are the look of the stream. Um, then I had to go change clothes in the Able Sisters in the middle of this speed build. See, speed builds aren't always all that fast. But this is the look for the rest of the stream. Don't we look gorgeous, right? I th We just look lovely, stunning, beautiful. We are a moment that is the look. So we're gonna finish putting down items. I wanted to create a little bit of a seating area right here. I'm using the vertical um, fencing. I ended up changing my mind though, um, because that is the name of the game today is change my mind core. I think I ended up going with the um, plain party light arch because that's like one of my favorite items of the game. And if you didn't know, this island is just whatever I love core. Um, it's honestly all of the things that I love. My favorite colors are purple and green, but for some reason on this island, I'm really feeling this yellow and green natural palette. I don't know why, but it really is touching my heart and I love it so much. Um, I did make this yellow and green flower path and I do have several this path in several colors around Christmas time I might change it all to um, red and green but we'll see how I feel about it then for right now I really am loving it as it stands and I just want this island decorated before I continue working on all of the other islands that I'm working on because there are so many islands that I'm working on. I have like four islands going right now and I just want to finish my forever island first so that I have this place to call home anytime I want to go to a nice decorated island I will have one that is my forever island that I can always be have there ready for me and then if I want to change a thing or two here or there I can make those changes but you know what I mean? Like I just want to be able to have like a set place that I know is decorated all the time and I just want to play the game and I want to play and get my villager photos 
and my Nook Miles goals done, there's always going to be a place that I'll be able to do that and it will look nice too. So that's what I'm trying to get to, a place that'll look nice that, you know, I can have my Nook Miles and all of the things, you know, done. I keep saying, you know, I'm so sorry about that. Forgive me, English is hard today. So we're gonna go ahead and put another mush parasol right here, which I really love because I love the mush items. And I know there are people who don't love the mush items. I'm so sorry, but I really do love them. They're so cute. And um, butterflies are going everywhere up here because I thought a butterfly little rock meadow natural area would be super cute. Most of my island is actually a small town core island. So I think that this little vibe goes really well up here and I'm really happy with it actually. Um, it does, it is making me smile every time I look at it and I am loving this island, which is pretty shocking considering I was like, I don't think I'm worried about decorating on this island. I just want to build stuff. It's not going to be cohesive and that's fine. But here we go. Hopefully you guys like it. I really love how it came out and hopefully you guys too. Do too. I know you could be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate that so much more than I have words to say. I hope you all have an amazing day or night and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.